Hey guys, you know who I am, Kevin Grace, and you know what this is, The Grace Period. The Grace Period is where I rant and rave, educate, entertain, inform, and investigate different topics happening in the world today. And what we're going to talk about again is freshman Congressman George Santos. This guy won't go away like a bad case of diaper rash. We just talked about this guy, um, about the dog situation, taking money from a, um, a homeless vet that needed his service dog uh, to get uh, surgery. Now we're talking about George Santos denying that he was a drag queen when he lived in Brazil. Let's take a look at the photo and you make the decision. What do you think? If you tried to call Congressman George Santos on Thursday, this is the office of Congressman Nick Lolota. You were transferred to the neighboring congressional district in Suffolk County. There is no way to contact Mr. Santos at the moment. The freshman congressman continues to communicate through Twitter. On Thursday morning, he refuted reports that he at one point performed drag in Brazil. I reached out to his ex friend Ula. She sent us this picture from 2008, which she says shows Santos as a drag queen named Katara. Another tweet from Santos. Santos denies allegedly pocketing $3,000 from a fundraiser meant to help a New Jersey veteran with his dying service dog. He called that accusation shocking and insane. So as you can see, he's vehemently, vehemently denying that he was ever a drag queen down in Brazil. But uh, it looks like him. <laughs> so again, something more that he's lying, not just about the resume that uh, and education and the jobs that he did. Now he's lying again. This guy is a habitual liar. But uh, again, the GOP won't kick him out because uh, if they have a special election, it could go back to Democrats. That particular district that he wound up winning past several years, it was always a Democrat that wound up winning the seat. And since Kevin McCarthy needs support, he doesn't want to have the chance of that seat flipping back to Democratic hands. So um, they're going to ride the boat on this guy. But meanwhile, there are other cases now being reopened again, such as the stolen checkbook that he's accused of taking several years ago and writing checks uh, from some guy in, in Brazil. But this, <laughs> this story is still going to keep unfolding. Tonight, new details about Republican George Santos's double life. Santos, who has lied about everything from his education to his ancestry and so much more, now denying reports that he once performed as a drag queen in Brazil. CNN has not independently confirmed the images, which were shared by a Brazilian drag performer who identifies Santos as the other person in the photo. This is from a parade in 2008. Now, Santos is openly gay. He has voiced support for staunchly conservative policies, though, when it comes to the LGBT community. The new details adding to the ever-growing controversy surrounding Santos. Omar Jimenez is out front. Here, among the members of Congress, he's known as George Santos. But in Brazil, a local performer claims Santos was Katara Ravash and that he once performed as a drag queen, something the New York congressman strongly denies, tweeting, the media continues to make outrageous claims about my life while I'm working to deliver results. I will not be distracted nor phased by this. It appears to be just one of the names Santos has used over the years. I've always known him as Anthony DeVolder. I've never known him as George Santos. And that's his um, former roommate. I don't understand. Did he go like one by one to everybody in his district and just literally pull the wool over their eyes? <laughs> like how? But it's not just the name or alleged activities in his free time. It's the stories he tells, which appear to be just that, including one about 9-11. I get emotional. My parents were both down there uh, the day of the attacks, and uh, fortunately, none of them passed. My mom was a 9-11 survivor. Mm. She was in the South Tower, um, and she made it out 
His mom was actually in Brazil at the time, according to immigration records, and on a 2003 form, she said she hadn't been to the U.S. since 1999. Santos also claimed his grandparents survived the Holocaust and fled Europe to escape Jewish persecution. That's false, genealogy records show. During his campaign, he claimed he worked at Citigroup and Goldman Sachs, later admitting that wasn't true. While running for Congress on Long Island, he claimed he graduated from Baruch College and NYU. He now admits he didn't. What's your reaction to members of your Despite own all of these lies, George Santos is now a freshman congressman. He's been named to two low-level committees by the slim GOP majority, and there are no immediate signs Republican leadership will stop him from walking the halls. He hasn't committed a crime. He hasn't been indicted on anything at this point. And in this country, you're innocent until proven guilty. Leaving those he's deceived to sit and watch, like two military veterans who say Santos promised to raise funds for life-saving surgery for one of their dogs in 2016, but that instead he took off with the money. The dog later died. That gone. dog saved my life at least two times. Um, when I first got out of the service, I was depressed. I was having nightmares, um, bad, bad memories about some things that happened. Not war-related, but other things that the military does to you. Santos denies this ever happened and told CNN in a statement in part, anyone that knows me knows I'd go to hell and back for a dog and especially a veteran. And the veteran's response to Santos was, he said he'd go to hell and back. Well, then, quote, go to hell, George. Now, mm -hmm. as you can imagine, there are a lot of investigations swirling around Santos. A complaint has been filed against him with the Federal Election Commission. Federal prosecutors are looking into his finances. Law enforcement in Brazil say they intend to reinstate charges connected to a stolen checkbook back in 08. He's called them distractions, but we've got a lot of distractions here.